Welcome to the January 16th edition of Colorado Inside Out Post Game, a special web exclusive production here on Channel 12. Let's get a quick take on the upcoming Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. Colorado has a great history with this holiday, and this year's celebration comes on the heels of national and local protests addressing racial issues. Patty Calhoun from Westward, um, we're expecting uh, the, uh, a great parade, the march and parade, uh, as we've had in Colorado for a long time, um, but there's probably going to be a lot of other events going on. Uh, what do you make of what's, what's bound to happen? Well, there are events starting Sunday night, the kind of our teach-ins, teach the Flowbots are having, then the Maraid starts at 9 at C City Park. You, you'll have Hancock in the lead, you'll have Wil Wilma and Wellington Webb. Wilma was in the state legislature mm -hmm. and really pushed for Martin Luther King Day to be a national holiday, a holiday in Colorado before it became a national holiday. We're going to have some protests there. People are being urged to wear black in <clears throat> unity with people in Ferguson. So there will be some protesting, I think, given Colorado. Colorado status, given the fact that we have a black mayor in Denver, Colorado, given the fact that it seems that sheriffs and police officers are equal opportunity abusers of all races when we have problems. They seem to cut across um, ethnic lines. I think we probably won't have that many problems. Then there's a teach-in um, at McNichols in the afternoon, which I highly encourage people to go to. It looks like it'll be a really interesting event. David Copel from the Independence Institute and DU Law School. Uh, Colorado's always, and Denver, have put a, a lot of energy into having a, a real diverse array of events, uh, the Maraid, uh, uh, the teach-ins like Patty talked about. Um, what do you think about what's going on this uh, uh, Monday for the holiday and Colorado's tradition with it in general? Well, Colorado's tradition got started, as Patty said, because uh, then uh, State Representative Wilma Webb of Denver had been pushing it for many years in the legislature and had not succeeded. We, the legislature enacted the King holiday in 1984 uh, with a lot of help from my dad, who was in the state legislature at the time, and had the problem of the Republicans wanted to put it out for, a, and most of them, a vote of the people for an initiative, which have would have almost certainly lost in the 1984 election year, which was a, a conservative landslide. And he helped Representative Webb with the legislative maneuvering and, and putting uh, the opposition in a box. Of, they didn't want to vote against the King holiday per se, but they were willing to vote it against it in procedural ways that would prevent it from being declared by the state legislature. And through a series of motions, uh, uh, Representative Webb and my dad checkmated the opposition, and that's how Colorado got its King holiday as early as it did. That is a really cool legacy. I'd love to hear that. Uh, Ed Sealer from the Denver Business Journal. Um, what do you think of Colorado's tradition uh, as we celebrate Martha King Jr.'s uh, holiday, uh, but also what might be happening this year? Well, I think this presents a really interesting opportunity for, you know, as we've talked about uh, racial tensions over the last two months here, it seems to be in a very... Um, I don't want to use the word combative, but it's not in a way where we sit down and we talk about it. Even even people who, who didn't, you know, want to get involved, take a, take a side, you know, with uh, the Ferguson police, you know, seem to get upset when some of the protesters would just get out, stop traffic, disrupt daily life. This is actually a great opportunity on Monday for a good conversation. Yeah, there may be people going out to, to protest, but the, this is a chance where the city shuts down, and we shut down for this parade, we shut down for this holiday, and, and so... You you're not disrupting everyday life, you know. T talk to the people around you, see what can be done, and and maybe maybe it'll be the best atmosphere we've had in number of months to discuss racial issues. In Gloria Neal, multimedia journalist, also with our friends over at Channel Four. Uh your thoughts? You know what? It is truly a day on and not a day off. Um, I think that just like so many others have said, progress has been made. But as a result of the events that happened in New York City and in Ferguson, we still have work to do, clearly. I know that recently I just received uh, a text um, from a young lady who is a new citizen to the United States. She's from Russia. And she was saying she hears the N-word all the time at her gym. And she works out at an inner city gym. And she says, uh, you know, she doesn't understand why. And she didn't even know not to use um, the word. She didn't say N-word. She right. used the word as mm -hmm. she was talking with me. So I proceeded to help save her life, <laughs> saying, don't use that word again. Um, and here's why. But I also explained to her it's more culture and who she was referring to were some younger individuals, one of her trainers. And so people are comfortable. But 
that is not my world. And so you can be in the world, not of the world, but it is a result of those kinds of things, not knowing the history, not understanding the history. I'm sure that wasn't one of the 100 questions on her test for citizenship. And so as a result, she didn't know. And I'm glad she felt com comfortable enough to ask me. But just as you said, you absolutely um, have to have a conversation. If somebody's brave enough to ask you, then you need to be brave enough at least to answer the question and talk with them about it so that they get it. And um, even if you come away uh, disagreeing, it doesn't have to be disagreeable. So that's why I believe it's a day on, not a day off. You need to be there. And I don't care what color you are, because as we see the signs, Black Lives Matter, black folks know Black Lives matter. We need everybody saying that not just black lives matter, but all lives matter. Here, here. That's all the time we, for, we have for Colorado and South Post game this week. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. For everyone here at Channel 12 at CPT12.org, I'm Dominic Dizzuti. Thanks for watching. God and the rhythm of God is the heart.